discussing um, a little bit about um, the software, what softwares are out there, what you can use. So um, moving on to our next section, uh, we're going to talk about what software is out there that you can use for streaming. And, and a lot of this, as I said before, could be very repetitive for you guys, um, and some of it you might not know. So um, there's two big ones out there, XSplit and OBS. Um, XSplit is a pretty much the um, you know the company that that really broke out to make streaming very simple and easy for anyone. Um, XSplit's been around for a few years now. Um, I started using XSplit, very happy with it. Um, XSplit has a free and a free and a paid um, type of software. The free software is going to allow you to stream, but it is not going to allow you to stream at the quality that you want to watch. And, and, I, and you're going to hear me say that all night, guys. Um, you know, think of it this way. When you go to visit a stream, what are you looking for? That's what you should be aiming for. You should be aiming for a stream with great quality. You should be aiming for a stream that provides, you know, a really good entertainment, but the audio is good, the video is good, everything. Um, so... When we talk about software, you know, XSplit is free, but I'm not going to recommend the free version. Um, I understand not everyone has the money to afford it, but the free version will allow you to stream, but not at the higher qualities that you're looking for. So if you go to XSplit.com now, uh, as uh, Ritigar, one of my mods, has linked in chat, you'll, you'll notice that they have a free versus um, the paid system. Um, you know, I definitely recommend going to the paid system. I use the paid XSplit for all my podcasts, and I use OBS for all of my game streaming. Now, uh, I'll get into kind of the big differences there moving forward, but um, OBS is an open, kind of like an open source software, I guess you could say. Um, it is a free broadcasting program that you could stream at the best quality with for free. So some of you guys might be like, well, OBS is a no-brainer. It very much is. Um, OBS came along uh, after XSplit was out for quite some time. And where OBS is very successful is not only is it free on all levels to give you great quality, but OBS also is less taxing on your CPU. And what I'm talking about is, you know how we first started out talking about CPUs and encoding? Well, the way that XSplit tells your CPU to do the encoding is very taxing on your computer. The way that OBS tells your CPU to do the encoding is less taxing than X, uh, XSplit. But keep in mind, they're both taxing and they're both going to put your CPU to shame. It's just OBS is going to do it a little bit less than what XSplit is, but it's still going to be rough. So OBS, if anything, is going to allow you to stream at better quality than XSplit will um, based on your performance of your computer. Um, there's also a multitude of different software out there um, as well that is very pricey. Like you're talking 500 or plus. There's like Wirecast and stuff like that. Um, if you really want to, go ahead and look at those softwares. But I'm not going to go into those because that's not the common man software. Those are much more used for MLGs and for other production setups and stuff like that. Uh, Adobe has a product too as well that is quite costly. I think up where, up where around 1000 but don't quote me on that. So you have XSplit versus OBS. Um, and kind of, you know, we're going to go into guides as setting up both of them. Um, the benefits of XSplit, uh, as I'll get into it, is XSplit is easier to set up than OBS, 100%. Um, once you set up XSplit, though, you can set up OBS no problem. Uh, other benefits of XSplit is that XSplit has a lar has been around for a while, so it has a lot of these plugins, like cool little features that you can add in uh, that XSplit has. So XSplit has some great benefits if you have the computer to support it. So we're going to go ahead now and move into our next section. Um, 